Look, I'm sure you've got a million questions. You've been through hell. So let's just take this thing one step at a time. First, let's let's meet the boys. Okay, in the middle, we got the twins. That's uh, Greg and Charlie here. He likes to invent things. Twins? Yeah. Obviously, they're not identical. Or I look like a shithead. Who asked you, butthole? <laughs> Get off me. They're not fighting and they're still at it, huh? <laughs> guys, guys. Charlie and I get along very well, Mom. My twin brother and I are best friends. He's the actor in the family. And then we got the big guy. 11 pounds, 5 ounces. <laughs> Come on, honey. Give it a try. What's his name? Roy? Roy? No, Travis. Sweet Trav. Now those are tits. My turn. Hey, where did you <laughs> well, I was hoping you'd recall this guy. He's your newest, honey. Hi, Bob. My name's Joe. A falsetto child? Yeah, he thinks he's Pee Wee Herman. I love Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Give your mom a kiss. No, no, no! <laughs> Do they have a problem with their glands? <laughs> hey, hey, guys! Easy, huh? Come on! Now, those dads, Roy. Oh, they're great boys, aren't they? There's so many of them. Well, you've always had your heart set on six, so you just keep on trying. kind of busy right now. I have a special interest in your stories. Let's see, why is that? Because it was me. I killed her. Who is this? <laughs> you don't really expect me to answer that now, do you? I don't know. It depends on why you call. I mean, I get 30 calls like this every day. People claiming responsibility for anything. What makes you so different? Uh-oh. -uh. I called because I want to help you. How could you help me? Her right rear pocket. Was there something in it? Oh, I hope you're as bright as I assumed you were. Um, listen. Can you be at your phone at, say, 3 o'clock? Hello? Find a couple of assholes and bury them with a jack of hearts. Listen, we cannot pin four murders on Patsy's album. No fucking way. The real shooters that need to be taken off the streets, and you know it. Absolutely 100% agree with you, Bobby. They're vermin and should be exterminated, but you got crime and you got criminals. And if you're meticulous, maybe somehow you make a match. Whatever, we're in the getting shit done business. What are you talking about? You know who did it. Come on. Come on. How can Jack get us involved in this type of shit? The hell's he thinking? What? I said, what the hell's he How thinking? How fucking dare you, man? Who the fuck are you to question Jack Van Meter, huh? You don't question his orders, you follow. I'd have kicked your ass, man. You're not Jack, Bobby. You were tested and failed. That's my daddy's gun. You see those? Eleven men. Yeah, he and Jack were partners. And the only goddamn reason this city's here is because they made it possible. They built it with bullets. Hunted down evil fucking parasites that would have committed thousands of crimes, would have ruined hundreds of lives. They protected the good people, Bobby, so that they could grow and not the cancer. So who the fuck are you to question anybody? Um, please, take it easy. Come on, take it easy. I'm with you. <laughs>
listen, I'm... I'm sorry I came down on you so hard before. It's okay. Just so you won't think that I don't appreciate all the work you've been doing around the house and, and how you handle the kids and all that, uh, you know, I think you're doing great. I mean, what you said about me and the boys tonight, uh, I guess you probably... You know, maybe you got a small point there, and I, I just... I can't... I can't talk to you while you're turned away from me. Will you just please get your head out there and look at me? Huh? No. Why? Because I'm so ugly. I got poison out, too. Well, come on now. Nobody <laughs> cares what you look like. I mean, we do like the way you look. Normally, you look yeah. real pretty. You just don't now. No. Uh -oh. no. Forget it. I'd like to congratulate our four fellow officers on their acquittal today. Yeah. It's a hell of a job we got, isn't it? I mean, uh, cops, the last person a civilian wants to see until some shitbag shoves a gun in his face, and then we can't get there fast enough, right? You know, you know law enforcement, uh, it, it's, it's been my family's business since Los Angeles was a frontier township. I mean, I can actually remember sitting on my granddaddy's lap Listen to the stories about chasing horse thieves and rustlers into the Santa Monica Mountains and then coming back with a bad guy tied to the ass end of his Appaloosa. And then, uh, I guess when my dad got into the business, there was, you know, black and white, traffic signal. But the job hadn't changed. You know, my, my dad preyed on the predators that preyed on this city. Now, there was never any doubt what I was going to be. I mean, I was a police explorer by the age of nine. <laughs> I guess I was a teenager when the... Watts riots uh, came around, and anyway, I, I can remember going out with my dad on the second night, and uh, there was this Woolworths that was burning, and, and I remember that there were these looters, you know, running in and out, and, and every time they'd run out, my dad would take a pot shot at him with this deer rifle he'd brought from home. Anyway, he gave it to me, and this looter ran out, and I winged him in the arm, and he ran back inside, and that's when the, that's when the roof collapsed, and the whole goddamn building caved in. I don't know, I guess they all burned up, nobody got out. Here, Colonel. Yes. <coughs> so what do you think? And they're not exactly special forces, but they sure were eager to join up. Take these guns away, Lieutenant, before they hurt themselves. Sir? You heard me send them all home. There's no place for these kids to go. Anyway, we could sure use their help right now. For what? Huh? To do what? Why don't you just tell them everything? Why don't you tell them about the bomb? What's he talking about? My orders were simple. Track down signs of any possible danger. If I found any, blow up the Stargate. Well, I found some. Well, your bomb is his now. And tomorrow he's gonna send it back to Earth, along with the shipment of that mineral they mine here. And when that thing goes off, it's gonna cause an explosion a hundred times more destructive than that bomb alone is capable. I'll intercept that bomb before he can send it through. Why wasn't I told of this? Because there wasn't any reason to tell you, Kowalski. You weren't even supposed to be here. You were all gonna go right back through with Daniel. I was gonna stay behind alone and blow up the Stargate, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's the gate on Earth that poses a threat. That's the one that we have to shut down. You're absolutely right. But since you don't know how to get us back, we don't have that option, do we? <laughs> 